Emily Winter and this is this month's two minute tip. We are going to be looking at how to do an NDVI in two quick ways. Okay, so I'm just going to open up a Landsat 8 image using my quick access toolbar there. I'm going to select the multispectral. If you click that icon, it will remember that page and it will open up as that page next time you want to open a file. Okay, I'm just going to go fit to frame by right clicking. You can also do that up here as well and I've added it to my quick access toolbar which you do like this by right clicking on the feature you want. Okay, so I'm just going to make it NIR for you to see that we've got the bands that we require for an NDVI. This is a Landsat image of Norfolk. Okay, so you go into raster and unsupervised NDVI. So under here it already selected the bands it thinks NIR and red is. So all I need to do is have a look at the preview. This shows you what the data will output like. So here you go. It does indeed look like an NDVI. Water's black. Vegetation is bright. You can muck about with this and it will change in the right hand viewer there. So if you weren't quite sure which bands were the NIR and which were red, you can just play with that. Okay, now you could just press OK here and it would run, but we're going to look at View, which opens the Spatial Modeler. So this is what it looks like. The Spatial Modeler is a really powerful tool, so if you haven't used it yet, it's well worth doing. So this is what our NDVI looks like. It's automatically made this model for you. It's already put in 5 here for the NIR band. You can edit that here, if it was incorrect. Um, and it's automatically put the red band in here. It then subtracts and adds this as the NDVI formula dictates. This is your input here, your raster input, which is automatically the file you had loaded. If it wasn't the right file, you could just drag it like that from the contents viewer. Well, I'll just get rid of this. Okay. This section over here is just a stretch to make it look slightly better. And we have the subtraction out there, then the divide, just with the stretch. These layers are merged, and then we have a preview and a raster output operator. You can add the file name in here for your raster output to dictate, dictate where you want the file to go and what name. So there we go. And that's that operator done there. And this preview. To preview our data now, I could just click this preview button up here. And here you go. Fit to frame again. There you go. Here's our Landsat NDVI again. Looks correct to me, but if it wasn't, you could change these values. We'll just change them to two to show you what it looks like. There you go. And I'll change it back. There we go. As you see, preview is pretty much instantaneous very useful de debugging your files. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick criteria. So if you wanted to just extract vegetation from your image, you could do it this way. Um, I'm going to put zero here. NDVI values are anything from minus one to plus one. Water will be below zero. Minus values. Vegetation should be higher values and urban to be around zero. We'll just preview this data and see if we've got what we want. Here we go. So it's successfully extracted the water there, but I'd quite like to know where the vegetation is and where it isn't. So I'm just going to up this to 0.1. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it's taken out a bit more there, but not as much as I want. So I'm just going to go to 0.3. Ah, that's better. Now we've got urban areas taken out as well as the um, sea, and there you go. So now I'm happy with that, I'm going to get rid of this and put in my raster output to find my file name again. Okay, and that's all I need to do there. Okay, and now 
All I need to do is click run. You can also run in batch from here if you wanted to do more than one file in your model at a time. Okay, so while well, that runs now. See, it's pretty quick considering that's an entire Landsat tile. And I'll just get rid of this so we do not need it. And I'll go into the file from recent there, file recent. So now we can see that we've got a thematic file with urban areas as zero in the row column. And so the pixel value is zero and uh, vegetated areas are one. You can change the opacity there to toddle whether you see those layers, but I'd like them off as I can see my underlying Landsat data. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this two minute tip and tune in for next month. You can find more models on our website. We have a free spatial modeler library full of interesting models for you to download and use. You can access these models by clicking on the link shown below.